Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number three. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation, or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we're going to be taking part in the two-door challenge next. Uh, we're going to be taking the Chevy Camaro again around Iberian Circuit, Ladera Test Track, and then Camino. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We've got the IROC again. The IROC has made its return. I could have taken the Toyota, but chose not to. <laughs> I mean, that is a result. I got your money. Holy crap, that was quick through there. Hey, not bad. <laughs> I really can't wait to go away on holiday because I haven't been away. I haven't been on a plane in over two years now. I haven't been on holiday in two years. Probably won't go on holiday for another two years. <laughs> I went in 2020. The time before that I went in 2019 and then 2018. And then the time before that was 2011. And the time before that was 2009, I want to say, 2009, and 2008. So I've been on holiday a few times. Not enough, though. Right, we're level four. Let's go. Uh, I got a Renault Sport Clio V6. Let's go. Yeah, it'll be 10 p.m. for Cotto at the moment. Not bad. Look at that. Absolute beauty. All right, here we go. Race number two. I'm squeezing my ass through. Get out of my fucking way. I'm coming through and I want you out of my face. It would be fucking awesome. Bum 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 
I want to go on a holiday with uh, one of my mates. Um, I think you've seen him in chat before, Ali Kea. I want to go away anywhere for a week where we just absolutely get fucking shit-faced every day. <laughs> Not bad. Let's go, result. Let's go, people. Level three, we got differential upgrades now available for this car. All right, here we go. Like my CPU load now is 45%. My GPU doesn't even get touched. Definitely. It's possible. Oh, that guy's gone wide. Good for you, mate, because I haven't. Oh, it's an eclipse as well. It's a nice car. Crank it up to 300 FPS. Hmm, I wonder why. Maybe the Xbox doesn't support 300 FPS mode. <laughs> The 360 barely even officially supported 60 FPS. But to be fair, I do think it's really good that this game runs at 60. Quite smoothly as well. Which is impressive for a, what is basically a games console that only had, I believe this only has three cores in the processor. I think it was a tri-core. If I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Go into next bar. <laughs> Not bad. 2.2 grand. Woo! And we got 3,400 for that. Result. Alright, so we are here at... Uh, Iberian National Circuit, Ladera Test Track, and Camino uh, for the three-door challenge now. Let's get going. All right. Oh, look, there's a Beetle there. Again, this is the best Volkswagen. Something doesn't smell good. <laughs> Something does not smell good. Come on, keep it going. Do you remember that car? I, I can't remember what it was. What the name of it was. But I swear Mazda did a car that had two doors on one side and one door on the other. I think it was the driver's side had one door. And then the passenger side had two doors for the front and the rear. So there wasn't actually two doors to get out of. There wasn't like, oh, the rear passengers on the left would get out the rear left. and It was just one door and they'd all slide across. I think that was a brilliant idea, though, because, like, when you think about it... Okay, sure, for getting kids in the car, it might be a pain in the ass. But, like... For a normal, like, daily driver... The fact that they save on costs and weight 
by not having the equipment inside of a door like that. And they cut down on one door. It was a bloody brilliant idea. I'm pretty sure it was a Mazda. Pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to save this replay because I want the Scirocco on the thumbnail. Because again, my most favourite Volkswagen. Gotta be on the thumbnail. I don't want to save it twice. Jesus Christ, I'm not stupid. Alright. Mm. Go visit TDU Island. Let's go. <laughs> all this song does it does this for about six minutes and then all of a sudden you go bing 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 it's such a good song though i can't get no sleep okay maybe it's not the same as the other one then this is only three minutes in and it started the drop. But still, my point still stands. <laughs> there we go, saving ghost. Please don't turn off your console. It's like really angry with me. What have I done? Right, car is level one. Intake manifold and throttle body upgrades by Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is our last race with the uh, Scirocco. I'm not even joking, so each one of these championships for this first one has taken about 11 to 12 minutes. But in terms of racing gameplay, there's only about 6 or 7 minutes in each one. That's how long the loading time is. To get into the game, I granted there is time for me to set up recording. I have a couple of buttons i got to press. Make sure the audio is good before I can go into the race. Um, but like... Even that only takes about 10, 15 seconds per race. So it's not substantial of a time add-in. So the loading time is substantial for the amount of time that gets taken up on this game. For the later ones, it's not so bad, where the races are actually a bit longer. But for these early one, early <laughs> Rewind. For these earlier ones, it is kind of bad. In a way. But again, you can't blame them because they had the shittest hardware to deal with. Let's be honest. But then again, the PS3 was pretty shit. The PS3, I'm not even joking, would have been the most powerful console and probably would have been even more powerful than PS4. If it wasn't for the fact that they used the shittest architecture ever. What Forza are you going to play after this? Well, if we're on Forza Motorsport 3, then... The next one's going to be Forza Motorsport 4. Because it goes in order. You know. Not bad. Let's go. I'll take my rewards. Thank you very much. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. 3,400. Awesome. 
we got to buy a new car now, so. All right, so we're going to be taking part in the four-door challenge now. Uh, we're taking the Saab 9.3 Turbo X for this one. I've always wanted to drive a Saab in this game. Uh, <laughs> we're going to be starting off with the Iberian International Circuit, Ladera Test Track, and then Camino Vio de Montserrat. Woo! All right, here we go. Saab. The Saab is here. I don't like the rims, though, but the front of the car looks stunning. I'll be honest. Oh, oh, oh. That's a beautiful sounding engine. Beautiful! Pop them all the time. We. I've got no clue what that Lexus was doing and why it wouldn't just turn into the corner. It was like turning out of it rather than going into it, so it just went into my car. This is how the car sounds stock. This is a beautiful sounding car. Meow. <laughs> Good start so far. This game this year is 13 years old. That is crazy to think about. Aaron, welcome back to the chat. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will take that reward. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. What do you think about my Windows 7? Uh, did I not put a comment on it already? On Discord? I think Windows... The thing is, right, Windows always makes a good operating system and then a shit one. They always have done, and they always will do. Windows, um... You had Windows uh, XP, which was good. Shut up, Bixby. You had Windows XP, which is good. Then, Windows Vista, which came after XP, was rubbish. Then you had Windows 7, which was good. You had Windows 8, which was shit. Then you had 8.1, but that was a variation of 8. It was technically classed as its own operating system. But it wasn't at the same time. So, that was still shit. Uh, and then Windows 10 has been good. And then Windows 11 has come out, and that's been shit. They're holding up this trend. So, more than likely, we're going to come out with... Um, Oh, shit. They're going to come out with Windows 12, and that's going to be the most amazing operating system any of us have ever used. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't be. I really have to change these key bindings. I'm still running the same key bindings. I keep forgetting to change them, and it is horrible to drive. Uh, the song you should be able to see in the top right corner of the screen. It's always been there, always will be.
Not bad. We've got three grand there. Car is now level one. And we have a 10% discount on driveline upgrades by Saab. Nice. All right, here we go. Tell my mommy I'm sorry. This life is a party. Hey, hey. Lamborghini. What the fuck? Push. Come on, get past the fucking Lexus. Sorry, it's not Lexus, it's Saab. These are the Lexuses. Aaron, don't even start with that. I'll ban your ass quicker than you can say, oh shit. Bubble, 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 bubble. Joe, I, I might rename those actual emotes to say Lamborghini. This life is a party. Hey, 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 hey. This life is a party. Hey, 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 hey. the inside that's how the overtake is done who cares about contact well yeah Aaron you got an ad because you're not a sub <laughs> there we go we're level five we got a Ford Focus RS 2009 nice wow. it's getting away from me it's getting away from me. Nice. Ford Focus. Woohoo! That's a. That is my favorite Ford. It's beautiful. All right, here we go. Uh, this is the five door challenge. We're gonna be taking the Honda Fit. We've upgraded it to F one nine nine. Uh. Iberian International Circuit, Lazira Test Track, and then Camino Vallo de Montserrat. 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 I think that's how you say it. Oh, well. Let's get going. All right, here we go. We've got a lovely orangey-brown Honda Fit here. With some nice upgrades on it as well. I'm coming through! We got another fit with the same colour there. Ah, bonk! Nothing matters to the pain. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. <laughs> Holy balls! Mm -hmm. 
campaign. Not bad. Got a first place finish. I will take that. Thank you very much. All right, here we go. I believe this is second to last race. And then that should be all the test track stuff done. So three episodes in, test track won't be seen again unless it's the full circuit. <laughs> or it won't be seen as ridiculously as it is. Because these first ones are all exclusively around the test tracks. But, again, at least the test tracks in this game are actually have some sort of variation. They are separate tracks. So it doesn't feel repetitive. Motorsport 2, when you were going through all of those test track things, it actually felt quite repetitive because they were all just the same looking track. Because they weren't the same track. This is three similar looking tracks, but like different areas. I think you could, if you tried hard enough in this game, you could run four individual races at the same time around the circuit. Don't hold me up now. I can't stand my own ground. I don't need your help now. You won't let me down, down, down. Don't hold me up now. I can't stand my own ground. This is a tune. It's about C H double O N. Tune. I was expecting the race to finish at that point because I crossed the finish line. And then I remembered this track actually has two starting lines. I don't need your help now. You won't let me down, down, down. Don't hold me up now. Not bad. So this car's now level one. And we got ignition, a 10% discount on ignition upgrades by NGK. Nice. Right. This is it. Final race. Ground. I don't need your help now. You won't let me down, down, down. Don't hold me up. Your help, I swear. I don't need your help. I need your help, I swear. I don't need your help. Down, down. Meow. Move! Get out the way! There's a moose loose about this hoose. I can't believe it's put on fire starter. <laughs> I'm the fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Not bad. There we go. Race done. I will take that reward. 2,200. Result. Love Ledger Blair. And that is five door challenge completed. We've got 3,400 for that. Not bad.
Thank you very much, game. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.